Hi folks! In this video I'm going to assemble this twisted easel card. Keep watching! So we're going to go ahead and assemble this twisted easel card, but I wanted to show you something first. We get a lot of questions about what can I do with the foil and ease of foil from Cricut. There's so many things you can do. In the last couple of days, I've posted two little chalkboard signs that I made for my craft room. But I also wanted to show you that you can put the adhesive foil, layer it on cardstock. You can do that with vinyl too. But it makes for such a pretty embellishment. I hope that you can see how gorgeous that is. And if you do a really good job of pulling off the positive that you want, you can even use the negative on another project by lifting it with a transfer sheet. You can use it on another project. So that was just a thought to give you an idea of something you can do with the foil. There was red in the January mystery box and something like this would be gorgeous on Valentine's Day cards. So that being said, we'll go ahead with the twisted easel card. So you have your tag for the inside of the card that your outside will butt up against to stand up. You have a heart layer and an, a flourish heart layer to go on top. You have a doily cutout. You have three layers for the inside of the card. And you have three layers for the outside of the card. You have the card itself, which is scored in half and scored on an angle. That's how you get the effect of a twisted easel. And you have your envelope cutouts. So let's go ahead. As usual, I'm going to start with the envelope and set it aside. In this case, it was quite a large envelope and I was cutting on 12 by 12 mat, so I made it in two pieces. This is Cricut cardstock, I love it. It's such a nice quality and it cuts and embosses beautifully. So there's part of it. And on this bottom half, you have a score line about an inch, maybe an inch and a half along the bottom. There we go. And like I made in the envelope for the other easel card that I shared with you, we're going to go ahead and put eddies of just along the bottom inch. Open this up and line it up right along the score line nice and straight and fold this up. And next we'll add adhesive to the side tabs. We'll fold this up nice and straight. And you have your envelope. There you go. So we'll set that aside. We don't need that yet. And we'll start to assemble this. So I think I'll assemble the inside first. Either grouping doesn't matter. It's all the same size. Add adhesive to the cream color. So I apologize, my video cut out for a second and I didn't realize it right away. But once you've got the three layers assembled, you want to attach them to the inside of the card and you want them to line up completely. You don't want to see any card edges around the three sides. So that would be the inside of the card. Apologies for that. I'm going to score this again. We are going to add adhesive to this cream colored, colored layer and attach it to the larger layer. 
as we did for the inside layers. And I apologize that you didn't see them. I think I'm going to finish this video and go across the street and buy a new Mac desktop with a larger hard drive. And your three layers are done. So in on the outside, you want to add adhesive only on this triangle, on this one right here. I'm going to place adhesive along it. I find it's more accurate if you fold it before you do it. And then we'll flatten it out. And you'll add your card front. Of course, you want to line up again right along the edge. There we go. So it looks like that. But when you open it up, it's all matching. And now we'll decorate the front. The first thing I'll do is attach my doily. Next, we're going to go ahead and prepare this heart. So I think I'll use, I'll try my zig pen for this. I'm not going to put the adhesive all over during this video, but normally I would. There we go. That should be okay for the sake of making this video. And we'll just line the filigree hard up uh, on top. And I'll use my tape runner to attach the heart to the front of the card. And I think that I'll add a little bow here with my glue gun. Something like that. We'll see. And that will just make our tag. And I just used this image that said love in design space. But of course you can use anything you like, change it up however you like, change up the colors. You're only limited by your imagination. I'm going to use some puff tape to put this tag on. I want it to be raised up a bit from the base of the card so that the outside can lean up against it when it's open. This tape is so sticky and it's always so difficult to open. So then you just want to open your card, place it however you like it, and add your tag. And there you go. That's how your card will display when it's open. So I'm going to add a little bow, I think, to it just to dress it up a little more. And that's it. We're done. So you can add bows and change the colors and make it your own. We have a matching envelope. I hope you like it. I hope you'll make some and post pictures. I'd love to see them. Thank you for watching.